Hi, uh, Retro Hacks fans. I just want to put this little video out. I'm not very well at the moment, hence me not doing a, uh, a full restoration video, but this is a, something I thought you might be interested in. It's a, an old lawnmower which I repaired and brought back to working condition uh, a little while ago, and I thought I'd just share it with you with a little bit of a voiceover instead of putting nothing up this week. So let's have a go at restoring this. Well, as you can see from the deck, I've just cleaned it up a little bit now from when you first saw it, and I blew it down with an airline, and it's blown all that paint off there, as you can see. It has got rust, but it's not actually perforated all the way through. So all I'm gonna do now is to put this thing uh, into a sandblaster, tidy it up. Uh, as you can see, I've stripped it all down, and I'm just gonna look at the other bits and pieces, what we got here. The engine's fine, actually, although it's not running correctly. It looks like it's probably been overfilled at some stage. And now I've taken the engine out, and as you can see, the underneath is solid. It's pretty clean. I will give it a coat of paint. You probably won't see that. And all the other bits there, as you can probably see, all I'm going to do is give them a clean up and this little spruce up. There's the deck ready for sandblasting, so let's do it. Okay, well I've just given it a coat of red oxide primer now. They don't come primed when you first get these, so uh, this is a little added protection as well. I do that with all my lawnmowers if I can help it, and uh, I think it just adds that little bit more protection. So all I'm gonna do now, as I say, I've given it two coats of base coat, which is just rattle can paint, and all I'm doing here is literally putting on my lacquer, which is a 2K lacquer, so that if you do spill any petrol on it, it won't blister up and bubble up as it would do with normal rattle can lacquer. There you go, two coats of lacquer applied, looking lovely. Well, definitely a lot better than what it was anyway. Now again, I'm just gonna tidy these bits up. You probably ain't gonna see all of this, but uh, things like the wheels, for example, again, didn't wanna spend any money on them, and all we're doing is literally just tidying them up don't forget this lawnmower was junk at the end of the day, and all we're doing is bringing it back to a usable life and extending its life as it was ready for the scrap heap. Now you can probably see the engine now, it was very, very oily, and uh, this is obviously due to the lawnmower being overfilled or it being turned up the wrong way and sucking in oil, and uh, this is something which I'm just gonna need to check the internals of the engine without stripping it down any further, and all I will do is just literally Wiggle the piston from side to side, uh, just to make sure there's no bore wear there. The bores are actually very tidy, so I was happy with that. And also the uh, valves needed to uh, be looked at as well, and all I do to them is to just wiggle them from side to side as well, uh, just to make sure that they have no overdue wear, where oil can seep down into the cylinder head area and I was quite satisfied there that both of them valves weren't the, the culprit for the oil in the uh, bore there, and so I can guarantee that this would have been overfilled or tipped up the wrong way to get that amount of oil in the cylinder head. So all I will do is clean all this up, clean all the surfaces up, get rid of all the oil. I will change the oil and then put it all back together. Well, as you can see there, I've done that now, and this basic mark was in a right mess, as you know. And I'm sure you'll agree that the uh, look of it, don't forget this was scrap, it has been completely transformed with literally just some gentle cleaning and a few tins of uh, paint and lacquer. And we've actually transformed this into a full working mower now. And I'm sure you'll agree that it, it looks a hundred times better than what it did. I painted the exhaust with a heat resistant paint. The casings have just been painted with a black uh, gloss paint. And as you know, the deck's been protected with a 2K lacquer. It looks absolutely superb compared to what it was. And again, it looks like a usable mower. And I'm sure someone will be very happy with this. The handles are just sprayed with a satin black paint. And as you can see, I think you'll agree that everything looks like a very good maintained mower. And all that's left to do is to start it up now and uh, burn off that original oil that's been left in there. 
because the exhaust would have filled up with oil. And after about five or 10 minutes, when the oil clears, we'll have a perfectly running mower, which doesn't smoke at all. Most people, when they get a smoking mower like this, when they've overfilled it, think that the engine's warm, but that's not the case. Well, as you can see, as predicted, the engine is smoking. I was aware that that was going to happen because we have to burn off all that excess smoke, uh, oil that was left inside the uh, inlet tubes and also in the exhaust itself. And once that burns off, I think you'll find that the engine will run perfectly with no wear or smokiness at all, which indicates that there is no real wear and my original diagnosis was OK. Well, there you go. I hope you enjoyed this little short video. I'm not very well at the moment. I have a virus, as you can probably tell. My voice is a bit croaky. But uh, I thought I'd put this out for you and show you what you can do with a little bit of paint and you can turn something like this, which is an old rusty junk mower, into something like this. Thanks very much. Hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you shortly. Bye for now.